Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit more information about how to create a visual abstract. They're quite popular. Here's an example, one of the first ones that came from surgeryredesign.com and they show the components of a visual abstract. So you have the title, the whole idea of a visual abstract is you would have about 30% of the um, screen taken up by images or large numbers and they should be able to speak for themselves with very few words around them. Medical Education have also brought out a template uh, for visual abstracts and I've managed to download that. I'll show you that one here. Uh, la la, this one. This is from MedEd and so it's pretty straightforward and these three columns is what they're encouraging their authors to do but there's um, certainly a lot more flexibility for this style the visual abstract could be really useful for people who want to quickly outline their methods for example so your research methods um, you know you could have your research title here and just mention that it's methods your research question and then here is where you would put the details of your data sets and in this case you might be doing a framework analysis and a narrative analysis and um, so you would put the details of those down here and here and I have found that a little bit of detail is much better than a whole lot of words and then you could go for a big fat picture here you can see is uh, and the ribbon on insert is where you can find things it's worth exploring icons there's images cut out people stickers videos illustrations all sorts of stuff icons tend to feature at the moment a lot in visual abstracts I find them quite boring but the argument for using them is that people can quickly figure out what it is that you're trying to tell them. There's all sorts of icons you can use. I like the cutout people. So if this research there's something about uh, people's experience of a particular kind of wheelchair then this image might work really well especially if you're doing patient-centered care in, or patient-centered research and then in your analysis you might have here this is the details so for example a thematic analysis save as and then here is where you can choose your different options scroll down to you get to a JPEG or a PNG tickety-boo you can um, import that into your working document into your articles into whatever else that you want to put it into um, your theses etc okay have fun